Okay guys, welcome back to Let's Play Thief Gold. I just need to check, make sure the recording looks good. And everything looks good, so we are playing... Oh, we are recording. <laughs> you guys know I'm paranoid about that. We are playing uh, Song of the Caverns, uh, the underground or underwater opera house. I actually don't know that much about it. Is someone there? Nope. So yeah, we're going to be playing Song of the Caverns, and uh, let's get into it. So I'm going to try and break into this guy's tower. Can't get in there. Okay, so... Can I... Oh, that looks like a door I can break into. switch somewhere that opens the sewer gates here. Okay, well that's one I got open. Go down here and see what's what. <laughs> Strange that I can go over here, but there's Nothing to, that noise? nothing to find. Go back underground. Garrett's favorite place to be in this game, apparently. I know what that sound is. Guess I'm not getting any information from Let's here rock! Come on! All. Let's rock! Is that Geary? Oh no. My buddy! Geary! Dead? You can't be dead, Kitty. You can't. Get it, you fool. Well, I'm gonna let the orcs take him to, uh, to Sauron, I guess. <laughs> it's pretty gruesome. Look at him. Uh, no, don't want a spoon. Uh, let's read it. More spiders arrived today. That makes 12 this week. I have no time to puzzle over this strange migration. I must pack up my belongings. Move elsewhere on the morrow, Giri. Well, I guess uh, you should have done it on the day of. Don't leave for tomorrow what you can do today. Because what is tomorrow? Or what is today but yesterday's tomorrow? There we go. Uh, yeah, okay, that's a good place to quick save, I guess. Ah, very nice. What was that? Is the ceiling caving in on me? Was that supposed to hurt me or kill me? What? Yes, it is caving in on me. Just go ahead, do it. I'm gonna watch the ceiling here. It's out to get me. I don't see any other water arrows. Would be nice though. I don't trust that stalactite. All right, looking good. Oh. Oh. 
Fuck you. Dance, buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and load a quick save. <laughs> Probably didn't want to get into Mortal Kombat with that guy. Alright, let's try this. We're gonna have to be very crafty about how we do this. Oh my god, just go, Gary. Go, go, go. Gonna turn back around any second now. Oh, shit. Don't fuck with me, buddy. I'll get you. So many of them. I don't know if I can take them out with a single headshot either. Crab people. Crab people. Just walk away. Just walk away. That is a lot of crap, people. I don't know if I can deal with that. All right, he's back in formation. Now, that looks like a place I can jump into the water if I want to avoid these crab people, but still, kind of like to get them all out of the way right now. Are you serious, buddy? Don't you dare come over here. Fuck you up. Ah! How did he hear me? Driving me insane. The a the inconsistent AI. I don't know if it's because I'm on expert or what, but the AI seems really inconsistent a lot of the time. Do you see that? That's what I'm saying, like, the AI is just, like, a little too hyper-aware. I don't know what their fucking problem is. Save. Ah, let's save it over. Let's call it uh, Crab People. I think they're called the Craymen in the lore. And oddly enough, so the Kershock, which are kind of just part of Thief 3 only, um, are from the Lost City. And I guess the Craymen are from the, the Trickster's Maw, the Maw of Chaos. But uh, it's weird that the Craymen. Uh, don't also show up in parts of Thief 3. Oh my god, is he really coming down here? All the way down here? Jackass! Alright, well, let me just go from here, I guess. See if I can get the drop on him anywhere. That's his front. Oh my god. No, what the fuck did I do? I didn't do shit. 
Oh my god. There's I seriously think there's something wrong with the AI. I've never had this much trouble with the AI. Oh my god. going in the water. We're going to explore. I'm tired of these stupid crap people. Just fall into the water and die. Tunnels are useless. God, dude. Ah! Get the hell out of here. Huh. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Getting ridiculous. That guy's not gonna be too happy when he finds out what I did. <sighs> oh shit. You can see me from there. Oh fuck no, come on man. Oh thank god. Alright, let's make a quick save. Uh damn. And I'm gonna try and backstab the motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ, once again people, all the fucking monsters you have to kill in this fucking game. And don't tell me I could have stealth past them because while that may be somewhat true, uh, yeah, I mean there was very few areas here that had enough uh, concealment for me to actually make it through reasonably, so um, you either have to run past them or engage them. And since I don't know what level of expert or exploration we're going to need to uh, put into this level, uh, I don't want to just leave tons of these guys alive, so. Let's go check this area out. Okay. I think if I do a review of this game... Uh, to prove my point, I'm going to do a massive montage of every fucking monster I had to kill in the game. <laughs> Alright, and before we go down there, we're going to save. You know, we could have just, yeah, run past them and come to here. But once again, I didn't know that this was a, an area. Because there's no way to get out of there without some other path. some saves. Let's see what's down here. Oh, fantastic, my favorite. What are you going to do about it? Nothing, that's what. 
You ain't gonna do a damn thing about it. Alright, and there's, yeah, there's no loot. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and load and come up here instead. Oh, it's the same spot. I can just maybe get the drop on him. That was a hell of a lot easier than coming up through the water. Stand not against us, lest you feel the sting of ignorance barbs. Ignorance is barbs. Which is what the... The hell did I step on? To Captain Colliard from Lady Valerius, I have received word of the shrine and treasure room you have found during your mission to eradicate our little spider problem. I look forward to receiving whatever bounty lies there and will not tolerate any more excuses about mysterious traps or other dangers. Success, Lady V. Alright. Let's go ahead and save again. Uh, we'll save here. Here's somebody singing over there. Jesucristo. What? Nothing. Empty. Now what? crazy person singing. sing too. We'll reenact the memorable scene between Raoul and Valerius at the bridge. I'll begin. The city at night. Raoul, the handsome This is Stephen Russell. Opera I didn't know he could sing. Sings to the Lady Valerius. I, Raoul, do accuse you of using treachery to obtain your wealth. Uh, the Lady Valerius sings. I, Lady Valerius, have obtained the Opera House, yes. Right from under your nose, you must kiss the ground underneath my toes. <laughs> now, I live here under the opera, but I go back, stealing food and such as I need. She can't kick me out, not Raoul. <laughs> then they come down looking for spiders, but they found the treasure from the shrine instead. Now she has that too. I've seen her with it. It has powers. You, you could steal it from her, yes. That would make her sad. Let's see. What would she sing? I know. Lady Valerius, weeping in her chamber, uh, sings. I, Lady Valerius, am so, so sad. Where has the treasure gone that once made me glad? You need a map? Raoul has a map. You need a key? You can get that too from me. Remember, I left at the sewer. Though the right might look newer, that's the secret of the way in. Now go, go, go! Up, up the rope you go! Why do you move so slow? Let us reenact the memorable scene again between Raoul and Valerius at the bridge. I'll begin. <laughs> lost his mind, but I, I, you know, I'll allow it. I am telling a terrible story, but it doesn't diminish. Here's the map. Uh, stand, this is where we are. Three weeks did Toil make to the shrine. Which I think we came this way. Spiders, abysmal cavern swim, Craymen, this thing. Sadly, one more do we lose on our return. Unknown. Basement, bath, food, wine, ticket office, guard station. 
Cribs. Like, I thought that said Uber area, and I was like, what the fuck is that? Because the L and the I are so close together. <laughs> All right. My glory, for they would have taken my daughters over the I can't remember the is rest of the world. I can been so long steal from now, them? But I, I had such glory, such a fame. Uh -huh. I'm not going to steal from this guy. I like this guy. <laughs> Even though he's lost his goddamn marbles. Oh. Let's do as he says, I guess. The curtains went down on this guy a long time ago. He's the best lead I have. <laughs> Has there been any more of that awesome industrial music <laughs> that Thief is so well known for? In a little while, actually. Well, let's go ahead and grab this. Mr. Colliard, it's not enough to kill the spiders brazen enough to enter the basement. You must tell your men to descend into the sewers and below. They must kill every spider they see. They must search until no more spiders are found. It does not concern me if men are lost or if they are afraid to venture past the sewers into the tunnels beyond. If your men cannot complete this simple task, I will find one more suitable to the work. And are you so sure you can get to the other work without a recommendation from the opera? Or get the other work without a recommendation from the opera? I think not. Report to me on the morrow regarding the, your progress. L. Valerius. She sounds like a stone cold bitch. But then again, who among the nobility of Thief is not just an awful human being? This looks like the way in. Well then what was the other way? Let's go, where was, hey, excuse me. Uh, excuse me? We are loading our last quick save. Damn, fuck was that about? This is cool. can't sneak past the guard because there's too much light. Unless he changes position, but he doesn't seem to. But this is pretty cool. Okay. Well, let's just make a save here real quick. Uh, damn, we're gonna save it. Damn, and then we're gonna go inside. But there seems to be a visit an invisible this wall looks like the way in. preventing us from getting back through here for some reason, or it's just a clipping issue. I don't know what it is, but there's some pretty dope paintings. Oh, these are these are set paintings. I keep forgetting I'm not in a mansion and I'm in an opera house. about to say, oh shit, that's a lot of guards. I just watched an episode of DS9 with the, the genetically engineered uh, people in it, and they do a lot of the, they do a whole song out of uh, Do Re Mi, so that just reminded me of that. Is this like a giant pot? What I see that... Oh god damn it. 
Guess we'll have to try all that again. Sorry about that, guys. This looks like the way. First time in. playing this, like I said, you know, never played this one before, at all. Okay, so that oh, he's got a patrol. Okay. Uh, excuse. Oh my God! Sorry, I have to load it again. I don't know if my aim was off or just, just something up with the game tonight. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know what the deal is. This looks like the way that in. Was shit. Let's save here real quick. And uh... nobody's there. Just relax. Nope. I can't tell what, what's dark and what's not. The lighting is a little weird right here. Let's see if there's any loot behind one of these paintings. Turn around, buddy. Just do it. Just turn around. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit, shit, shit. Fuck. I'm so fucked. No, no. Okay, we're good. Save again. We're gonna save on. Should I use this? What there? Nothing. Hello? Anyone there? The rats around here perform more than we do. Oh, oh, someone! There's, there's an intruder! A thief! Don't let him escape justice! <laughs> well. Took out all the thespians. Okay. Sorry, there's not a ton of commentary, guys. I'm trying to get my bearings here. So let's check our map. So I believe I'm on the first floor now. So, oh, basement. Wine, bath, food, uh, maybe not that. Nope. I guess I am in the basement. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe on the first floor. Nope. Not on the first floor. All right. So I am in the basement. I guess there's wine around here somewhere. Yay old pile of bodies, you know, as you do. Excuse me? That's what I thought. Sorry, that wasn't me dropping it. The game just, there was like a clipping issue and they just kept like falling out of my hands for some reason. Another little quaff of bourbon might... Help me. 
It's got some cheese, that's always good. Three health potion, excellent. So it turns out I probably didn't need to fight the Kraman. If I were gonna play this again in the next, I don't know, six months or so, I think I'd bear that in mind. Just run past him and dive into the water. <laughs> Liking this level so far. Said this. I think Thief Gold, some of the missions helped to flesh it out to make it more Thief esque. You know, I really liked the Mage's Tower, that was a good one. Cucumber, carrot, bread, deer leg. Cook, remember to serve the ballerinas only a light supper the night of a performance, lest we have a repeat of little, Cath little Catherine's unwelcome addition to Thursday night's show. Consider this your first and only warning, Mr. Cribbs, director of music. Okay. I guess one of them had a little, uh... <sighs> Regurgitation, as it will, as it were. We can go up there, but I'm gonna keep investigating the basement first. It's said that there's wine around here. I did find some, but not as much as I was hoping. Here seems to be the pantry. Bath. Well, recouped my water arrow investment thus far in the game, and then some. Okay, so where's the map? Right, where's bath? We went to the wine, and oh no, wine's at the end of the hall, so we better go down there. There's bound to be some expensive stuff down there where we came in. That was awesome because I used the sound to figure out, okay, this guy's going this way, that guy's going around the other way, and I just coordinated that together. That was awesome. That's why Thief is so well-renowned and credited for its amazing sound design. What the hell is this? Rocks? It's coal for the boiler. Let me see if there's anything of value in here. Well, I can walk through there, probably. Should I need to? Can't imagine why I'd want or need to. Take care of this guy. Ooh. 
Glad I checked the top of the stairs before I went in to read that note. I'm in a house of stars. I'm gonna get out of here. What the hell is in here? The Ark of the Covenant? Wait, hold on. Was that a gas mine? Ah! Where's the nearest quick save? Fucking bitch. Alright. I, okay, uh, so many things that I thought were uh, Thief 2 only, basically, are <sighs> apparently not. This must be some sort of armory. It doesn't really show up here. Well, here's the stairwell. It seems like there's a tunnel that leads here, maybe. Or maybe we're here. Oh, I can't really tell. Yeah, that, that's okay, yeah. That's right. So if that's where we were, then the wine is on the other side. Let's go get that wine. see wine here. Drink it for thine self. So I'm gonna throw you in here. <laughs> Alright. Let's make sure I got everything I needed from here. Yeah, I think we, I think we got all the pro oh nope. Pricey wine. How much we got? Only 150 and I mean I guess they only asked us to steal 200. They, the, the, the nebulous they that's giving us the objectives. Is the developers um, okay so we've got that almost fulfilled that is the way to the baths which uh, so here's the bath wine food there's a stairwell up there uh, I'm actually gonna take one of the fireplaces up because that seems kind of cool so that's what we're gonna do Okay, you can get hurt from fire if you stay in it too long, so be advised. <sighs> uh -huh. I'm 
heard that noise. See, I hate when you're just trying to get over something and he just sort of I guess it was nothing. drops and then you're just like, oh shit. <laughs> so, did you read Crib's latest? That gibberish is a waste of my art. Ironic, since I always considered your art to be a waste. And, to add injury to insult, I'm forced to wear costumes from years past. I can't believe the Opera House is still losing money. It's all these lower class people working in the ticket office and such. They steal whatever they can get their hands on. Valerius should fire all of them. For once, I agree with you, Christine. Scrapping the lower class would certainly clean things up around here. <laughs> <laughs> but what will you do for food and shelter when they kick you out? <laughs> Taffer. Knock out these insufferable fools. What's up? <gasps> Is someone nice? Hide you in the fire. Oh my god, what is going on? There, right, you can stay in here in the secret fireplace room. Slowly, ro there is an issue developing this game. It does not want to do what I tell it to do. The amount of health potions they're giving me is slightly troublesome. Especially considering the last mission, I really could have used them. screenshots of this before and I was just like what in the hell is that from I've never played that level and now we know another scroll for us to read Carmela a stellar performance as usual I write in hopes that you will contest to contest got the election on my mind <laughs> I write in hopes that you will consent to a stroll this evening on the second floor promenade I promise I will not arrive empty handed Please do not refuse me. I will wait all night if need be. A short stroll and some pleasant conversation is all I ask. And in return, I have for you a most special gift. One fit for a queen, awaiting you on the promenade. I remain your most ardent admirer, Lord B. I wonder if the- oh, that's Lord Bafford, for sure. And I'm gonna go steal whatever- I wonder if he got his scepter back from a fence, and I'm gonna re-steal it. That would be awesome. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but it would be- Ooh, it's a uh, 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 wrong way up the ladder. It's nothing, it's nothing. Look away. Oh, that. Uh, uh oh. No, I can't deal with that guy. Oh, Jesus. out wish I had a gas arrow I think I bought did I buy one I think I do thought I saw something nope Don't you worry, buddy. I'm I'm gonna get you. Just turn. For every season, turn, turn, turn. There is a. Oh Jesus. There we go. There we go. Into the corner.
Captain Colyard and men of the upper guard. Two guards will at all times, day and night, be posted outside my office suite. In case of trouble or commotion of any kind in the upper house, then send two more to stand guard directly inside the suite. The artifact must be protected. I will tolerate no lapses in security. El Valerius. So they did find the water talisman. And they do have it. I don't know if I'm going to take out that archer. I don't know to what point in purpose. Nothing. Nobody. No. Who can see me? say that should be it for our we got that objective right oh pff, the opera house is filled with ugh. all right the objectives change again find and steal the talisman of water the strange hermit's ravings are your best clue that the talisman has been moved to the opera house above the caverns find the opera house and break in the opera house is filled with precious adornments and attracts the city's wealthiest patrons so don't leave without at least two thousand worth of loot when he was alive, your informant Giddy, uh, Geary often bragged about the cash taken. Just a single at the the cash take in just a single e evening in the opera at the opera house. Find out if he was telling the truth. Get to the ticket office and steal the contents of the cash box. You read last week that the music director at the opera house was just presented with a silver flute. An item like that would, could fetch a pretty penny on the market. Uh, find it. Littering the opera house with blood and corpses is not worthy of a master thief such as yourself. So pickpocket, rob, steal, hide, and even run if you have to, but don't kill anyone. After you get what you want, or get what you came for, get to the city streets outside the opera house. Okay, done. Very nice. I do like that this started as a sort of like supernatural, like go into the caverns and fight monsters uh, mission, and now it's sort of turned into, um, nope, it's just a wealthy opera house, rob it blind. Loving it so far. God damn it. Thief, go after him. This is cool, so I'm tight. Alright, so we're gonna load save. We're gonna carefully carefully. of this thing. That's what this room is for. So again guys, I didn't know what to expect going into this. I didn't buy a lot of Moss Arrows, not that there were that many available. We're playing this conservatively. I mean in terms of resource management, that's what I mean. Over there. Something just there. She's a crew still! Close, yeah, I'm just, I just like, uh, muscle memory. I'm like, close it immediately so you can have access to your, you know, whatever, your use button. Uh, 
but no, we're only at 675. We got a long ways to go, people, for we're... I'm just checking the recording. Looks good. Got to get the silver flute. Ticket office. Hmm. Kiri did say something about the cash take here, didn't he? footsteps. stairwell I know it well <laughs> I know this stairwell well ridiculous just pure purely ridiculous Approaches. We shall save again, once again. Who's there? Oh, I hope you like. Ah. difficult than it needed to be, but whatever. Really would appreciate some more moss arrows here. This looks like the front door. Is that you? Look, over there. What could they... They couldn't have... They couldn't have possibly seen any... That's what I'm talking about. The AI is totally fucked game right now. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the doors open. You know, maybe there's things that on expert that I'm just not used to. But I have been playing on hard. some beautifully done texture work and, and uh, level design and everything. It's a really great, like, 
I gotta say the gold levels are are pretty awesome. I liked the Mage's Tower. I liked the addition to Constantine's Manor. Um, I like this one. Um, and the only one that was just meh was uh, the Thieves Guild. What's that? Am I not in the shadow? Sorry, nothing here now. Is that you, Kevil? Please, don't hurt me! I don't know what's going on with the grab. I did have this issue before with Thief 2 or where it would like... Uh, double? Basically, like, it would do like a quick double click. I don't know that the... The computer was registering. Maybe it was because something was tied to the frame rate. But but I will say this about Thief Gold: you can tell. Like, look at the color depth or the bit depth on the color. For the, there's just like it's it's missing too many colors. You can and when you play Thief Two, it looks so much better. So I would actually like to replay Thief Gold at some point with a texture pack. Even though you know I am a purist, but some of these like this would look so much better in the Thief 2 engine, even if you just tried to import these textures and fill in the missing color data, it would look so much better in Thief 2. Um, so there's some issues here uh, with these colors, and that's you can always tell when someone's playing Thief 1 or Thief Gold versus 2, um, or if they're, they're playing Dark Engine 1. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there have been issues with... Uh, This is a cool little secret passageway. Yes, we were on the third floor. Library's here. Stone should be here. Then we're just going to loot the entire rest of the place blind afterwards. So let's go ahead and save. And we're going to save on table, I guess. This is a beautiful level. And also, like, just a fun heist mission. Um, which is what Thief 2 did really well. And, yeah, I am more partial to these, I have to admit. change stance ever <clears throat> do I have any gas arrows I do I have two but I don't want to use it on someone who's like in the light like this <clears throat> hey over there we've got an intruder ah. Ah. oh wait you know what duh Oh, 
that was a good use of arrows or uh, flash bombs. Let's go ahead and uh, what does it say? Uh, flash. I don't know why I have to use two per guard. That's another issue I'm having, and I, I think that's maybe just the early thief engine. You should be able to uh, take out multiple guard or stun multiple guards with one flash bomb, but. Hopefully they don't see the bodies. I don't know if they will or not. You know what? We can get around that with this. Is that a secret room I could have used? Oh, damn it. That's probably where the boiler leads. My most enchanting, enchanting Lady V, I will cherish the flute always. Its outward beauty is matched only by its glorious tone. I must endeavor to keep it safe. However, I will be somewhat indisposed at home until this confounded furnicle heals. I hope I do not impose too much upon you, but... Will you look after this key to my wall safe while I recover? The flute is there, of course. I hope to return to my duties as music director before the new moon. Your friend and colleague, Yin Cribs. Okay, so in his office is a wall safe that will grant us access, or uh, that key will grant us access to his thing, or his uh, flute, which we need to get. Gotta be a switch for that. Okay, there's a lock to pick that comes up through there. Okay, so I got the talisman from her office. What's her face's office? Can't get through there, which sucks, but uh, let's see where I land. Alright, let's go down to, let's look at the map again. So, second floor, cribs and whatever, and then the guard station and the ticket off. So, we went to there and we got that stuff. So, I think we're good to go. Why is this locked again? Oh wait, that's why. Because I lockpicked just the one side. Okay, it would be nice to have access to that shit. See if we can take him out. Nice. Alright, 
let's let's save over crab people. That was a terrible save. There we go. Got you both. That's actually some good texture work right there, especially from afar. Looks pretty good actually. It's just up close. This is pretty pixelated. But it's got good color, like they are good textures and good use of color, but it's it's low color depth, so. Uh, what's going on over there? save that's a decent amount of guards we've really thinned out the herd so to speak that looks like carpet I'm not gonna take the risk though Sorry, I'm like, I'm in total, like, because I don't know the level layout at all, I'm in total, like, uh, thief mode. I'm just, like, darting from cover to cover, shadow to shadow, keeping an eye out. Oh, that's cool. We got a little stairwell. Stairway to heaven there. Reginald and Cor... Cornadra Forest Princess. The tragical tale of forbidden devotion betwixt our hero Reginald and Hammerite novice and the sprightly Cord Cornandra, forest denizen and ruler of all trees. Libretto and music by Ian Cribbs. Act 1, The Forest Edge. Reginald, Reginald has been sent to cut wood. He sings, I am but a simple novice, sent here to bring wood, wood from the forest. Happy is the sunny day, if only it could stay this way. Cornandra, singing from afar. Ah, glorious sun, send your rays upon us. But wait, who is this I spy? Who dares fill wood from my domain? He will learn the folly of his ways. Conandra lands a blow upon Reginald's head. Reginald sings, Ah, pound me not, fell forest thing. He raises his axe. In a defensive stance, Reginald sees Conandra for the first time. He sings, did I say, foul forest thing, for thou art beautiful, a butter as a butterfly's wing. Conandra, her eyes meeting Reginald, sings, Didst I land a blow upon your head? For I would rather take my own life instead. They embrace, they exit stage left, the forest creatures sing, Na, 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 la, 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 etc. End of Act One. <laughs> Did people really pay money to see this stuff? I agree. It's like that uh, Principal Skinner meme. Pathetic. Here we go. Library on the second floor. I feel like there's so supposed to be something special in the library, but there's no loot of any kind. What's our loot up to? And I'm sorry I had to subject you guys to that singing, but there was just no other way. Plus, I mean, I have been slowly sipping bourbon this whole time, so... I think we all kind of brought it on ourselves. You guys for showing up for this Let's Play, and me for, for drinking and not thinking it would affect. Let me see if I have a key for this. All right, I don't.
Global's really pulling out all the stops with like super noisy surfaces. Of course, I, I would say if it was mostly stone floors, this would be a pretty easy level. See if this one reveals any secret passages. Nope. Didn't check here yet. It's too busy murking everybody. Okay, I think that's it for this. Yeah, that's it for this floor. So, I don't know if this doesn't, is this carpet? Oh, it is. No, it's not. what objectives we have left by the way so we still need to get 2,000 loot uh, and we need the silver flute and then we can get out well that's carpet right there isn't it Try from right here. Don't come this way. Don't you come this way. You stay where you are. You leave me alone. Good. Who's there? What the devil is going on? <gasps> Who are you? That's what I'm talking about. Like it, it does that thing. And Thief 2 is doing that. I don't know if it's the keyboard and mouse that are sending signals and it's doubling up on the clicks or something, or there's an issue with high frame rate or something like that, or signal interruption. I can try moving the little receiver that way. Maybe that'll help. 
sometimes there's interference in that receiver. You have a wireless uh, keyboard and mouse, so. Oop, let's get back in the shadow. Do a quick save and then. God, this is, I mean, considering the limited uh, tech they had at the time, this is gorgeous level design. Look at the sort of like pseudo lighting here. You know, the painted lighting. Although it seems a little colored, so I don't know if they colored the textures to try and fit with this to make it appear though as though it had colored lighting, because this game quite famously does not have colored lighting. That was a big feature that was implemented in, in Thief 2. In the Dark Engine 2, I should say. Coming up here, I think. He sticks to those corners, so maybe I can get him there. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and we're gonna go. Also, I think there's probably loot behind one of those statues, because this is all wood. I should be able to rope arrow up there. sort of freely and I recognize that that was near the ticket office let's see I'm back down on the first floor yeah so here's where the staircase staircase is there's some stuff here but we're gonna go to the cribs I guess on the second I just want to make sure that this guy's taken care of so we're gonna go ahead and quick save if we need to get the hell out of here or something we can do so but I think we got a good chance of taking this guy out from here Nighty night, Buster. almost feels too like they're spawning the guards one at a time depending on how close I get which is not how a thief normally works at least for me typically the guards are just there they're running a simulation and they just keep like doing their paths throughout the level like I don't think they spawn guards in for different Coming back this way. Maybe I can get around behind him. Hello? Is someone there? Hey, stop! Seriously? But still, that's not enough. I don't want to be like here. Alright, so let's load that quick save and wait for him to come back. Is there anything in here? Is there anything in the fi- Ah, yes there is. We'll check it out later in a bit. Fun part of the mansion. Let's just save there. That's fine. Just wait for this guy to mosey on back this way. Oh, that could take a long time. But we'll we'll wait. Oh, and we'll save over it again just to see if it's a good spot. Oh, it didn't take too long. Should be able to get him real easy. Ah. 
Nice. Exploring. I'm having fun figuring out all the little nooks and crannies in this level so that I can get as much loot as possible. Huh? I guess it was nothing. Go! Took care of that right quick. I know this area. <laughs> That's right. We're very close to the entrance. I can take those two out as well. When do they turn around? There we go. That's one. That's two. Over there. Are you fucking serious? What in the fucking shit did you fucking hear? I swear that the AI is is bugged. It, oh my god. Oh, maybe that's why I didn't realize that it's it's tiled down there. Okay, that's my that was bad bad. That was on me. I didn't realize. The sound is a little weird in this one because I'm not hearing guys very when I should be hearing them, you know. And again, like it's as if they spawn like when I'm close to that area. Like they should be just already extant in the level, but they don't actually show up until I get close to that area, which is like once again, like I said, that's not typically how it works in Thief, so I'm. did this part maybe not because this is the second floor must speak from the past. This latest opera from Valerius and Cribs is a testament to the superiority of human intellect. Man overcomes nature. Oh, my absolute favorite theme. I couldn't disagree with you more. This opera is more of a travesty than a testament. The only thing over I guess one of them's a hammer and one of them's a pagan. <laughs> You're just miffed because Cribs is fond of tragic endings. That's not it at all. Since Valerius took over, we've had to endure this Mr. Cribs and his twisted little operettas <laughs> with vines and micas as villains and other complete nonsense. How can you stand it? Where is hold on. 
Well, my fingers just got all discombobulated. I was just pressing buttons, and I was like, "That's not doing what I hope, what I wanted it to do." What's going on? The rats around here perform more than we do. Must have been rats. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh, yes, very nice. I just got to find what's his face's office and steal that flute. Plus, there should be another loot, enough loot in that general vicinity to uh, round out my stock. Oh yeah, I forgot to go down one of these corridors on the other side. It's probably where the other... Yes, there's quite a bit to be had over here, I would imagine. Let's make another hard save. We've been doing a lot of quick saves. Age of Exploration, that's always a good one to save over. for right now. That's what I'm saying, see it double clicks. Ah, a hidden entrance. All right, so we got the hidden entrance figured out. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with the, the clicking right now. It's some weird keyboard glitch thing. I don't know what's going on. Probably have to go into my mouse preferences and, and set like some sort of like limit to something. See, I knew it. Check this out. Yeah, Ma I don't know. I think sometimes when this game's been running for a while, especially with OBS open, by the way, we, st we are still recording, um, it starts freaking out and... Um, like wonky controls and stuff like that can happen. Okay, so that we've been there. Who's this? See what I'm saying? Like a double. Okay. I think, yeah, we got that. seen this place yet or the part this area yet getting pretty close to that loot total that's pretty cool pretty sure I already came in here I 
and knocked out those people, yeah? Oh, this is a different room. Okay. Alright. his office is down one of these hallways that I haven't been down yet. Well, I came here. Oh, this was the library, but I think that's it. That's all I checked out down here. Didn't think I checked out this yet. So let's this. see. All right, everything is done. Um, we've explored no most of the place. I've got a better so idea. We're gonna save. You sing the part of Canandra Forest Princess tomorrow night, and while you're at it, why don't you find yourself another leading lady? Huh. Maybe I will. Fine. Untalented Taffer Troglodyte. La la la. That noise. What was that? <laughs> Mr. Cribbs. Mr. Cribbs, Ian, dearest, there are great time, these are great times for thinkers such as ourselves. I am certain that the secrets of the artifact will soon be mine. With its powers and the power unleashed by your music, I am more and more convinced that our day is near. Please accept this flute as a token of my continued appreciation. Appreciation for our special friendship and for your tireless dedication to the opera. Yours always, Lady Valerius. Okay, and there we go. Saved. Alright, so we pretty much did everything. How much loot did we get? We don't need a ton for the next mission, but it would be nice to have some. 2045. So, just a little bit over the requirement. Let's see where this goes. Nowhere good. Well, what's the best way out of this hellhole because I don't think we're going to find too much more loot anywhere you know what I think we're going to do 
run up here. We're going to find our secret entrance in. We're going to take that down, actually. Did we get both? I don't think we got both patrons up here. Guess we did. There we go. <gasps> and there was a sewer entrance in the basement somewhere that led up to the... Oh no, I know where it was. This was the first floor, never mind. Not the best place to be necessarily, but not the worst. <gasps> Forgot that this took us here. I thought it took us down a little further. I love this uh, recessed lighting here on the wall. It's very cool. Really beautiful level. I like how we were already basically here, and I was like, no, 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 we're going to go this really long, convoluted way around. Ah, but at least we did this. Found some extra stuff. I don't think we need to go into the armory, necessarily. We already went in there. Forgot what was in there, I was just like, oh yeah, now I remember. Didn't even know there was another guard down here. That's why I was running around like a crazy person. Alright, well, hopefully the fucking way out isn't totally blocked off by, I don't know, arbitrary invisible walls this time. I was pretty sure it was just a clipping issue that time, but if they're gonna give me that bullshit again... No, okay, fantastic. I was like, that, that wasn't very thief of you. That wasn't very cash money of you, thief. You know. Should I go talk to What's-His-Face? Can I even talk to What's-His-Face? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and save. Let's get out. And then we're gonna try and talk to uh, the op crazy opera guy. Maybe he's got something to say about all the stuff we stole. sport and I like him he's my buddy was it Steven Russell although like half the guards are Steven Russell 
I'm sure plenty of those mages were Steven Russell, and I was murking them like crazy last level. That was an excellent level, really fun, pretty challenging too because uh, I think that's the most intense use of tiled floors and metal floors I've seen in any thief game ever, or in any thief mission ever, uh, but they, they, you know, it was clear that Looking Glass Studios designed it because like you saw like on the second floor, even though there's tons of tile, there's carpet and wood in the on the edges and the corners and stuff, so you can use the the runners or whatever on the edges uh, to move around and stuff like that. And there are some areas where you have to just move slow and you just gotta be like, okay, that's all I can do. Um, taking out guards as they move through though, that, that was pretty tough, so. But it was fun, I, I had a, a lot of fun. Although I will say, uh, I would have loved to have really like completely knocked everyone out so I could see where all the loot is, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we missed about 800 loot. One hour eight to so that's actually a pretty good time and uh, you know again we could have found some more loot but I think that's fine pick pockets pick ten out of thirteen that's great um, locks picked eight one knockout four or knock backstabs one which would have been oh that would have been the cray person uh, knockouts forty two while air while airborne nice one uh, damage dealt ninety four damage taken one uh, healing taken zero nice killed the four Kraman very very nice and we're at 12 out we're almost at 13 hours for the playthrough um let's see what do we have next we have undercover that's probably going to be another hour hour and a half mission then we've got the haunted cathedral that's going to be like two between two and three hours right so those together probably going to be about three and a half four hours then we've got uh escape which i've never played it on uh experts so i don't know with all the other um mission objectives if it's going to be like a lot longer but the last time i played it it wasn't very long it was about 20 30 minutes um then there's strange bedfellows also a pretty quick mission uh maybe about an hour so we're looking at about four and a half hours here and then uh, uh after that into the maw of chaos which is again probably an hour and a half mission so yeah i mean it is probably going to turn out to be around 18 hours which if you go to how long to beat that's about how long it is so that's pretty cool um i uh, song of the caverns i thought was great i thought it was a fantastic mission i'm really glad i finally got to play that mission and um i think it's also great that it it starts and you think it's going to be another like oh let's descend into some catacombs and like you know fight a bunch of supernatural enemies or dinosaurs or monsters or whatever um and then it turns out that you've inadvertently uh, come up through into a functioning opera house where the citizens or the the city's wealthiest citizens are are gathering and they just got to rob the place blind which is super fun so uh, and it was just fun to once again it's always fun to play a looking glass designed uh, thief mission that I've never played before unfortunately we're coming to an end of those pretty much um, yeah actually I think that's it I don't, I don't think there's any other uh, additional missions left in thief gold the rest are pretty standard uh, Undercover um, is was in Dark Project. Haunted Cathedral is going to be the same, you know. So from here on out, it's going to be the same as the Dark Project. But uh, yeah, I've been loving this playthrough so far, uh, especially this last mission. You know, as much as I bitched towards the end of the Lost City, I enjoyed the Lost City as well. Um, Mage's Tower was really good too. I didn't know if I was going to like that one, but that one was really good. I really liked that one. So the you know, and it just goes to show you again, or or it makes me think again of like how much I would have loved to see a Thief 2 Gold. And as someone who's like been collecting the, the big trapezoid Eidos boxes that these came into, like it would be nice to have like, I have a Thief, the Dark Project, I have a Thief Gold, and then I have Thief 2, the Metal Age. I just can't even imagine how cool the box art would have been and everything like that for Thief 2 Gold. And just, just to have my collection complete, that would have been so cool. Um, and then of course the additional uh, levels that they were planning on putting in. As I said in the previous, um, or the, the one, before the last one, so two pre two two uh, let's plays ago, uh, 
there is a mod you can get that someone found assets and someone found plans and someone interviewed like ex Looking Glass employees to figure out like what what missions they were going to add to Thief 2 for the Thief 2 gold pack and um, I mean I can't say they look like mind-blowingly amazing but they were pretty cool and you know you never know if that was those were going to be the finalized ones that they would have released with the game so um, but if you want to check it out go check it out I think you can find it on the uh, what is it it's maybe thief the circle or the keeper's circle or something like that um, and there's usually links to that website through uh, through the looking glass forms TTLG forms where you can find a lot of these mods and stuff like that so um, yeah, I think it's called thief the circle um, and it's it's another forum uh, but they also have lots of like you know fan art but but more importantly they have a lot of uh, links to mods or just direct links and stuff like that to mods so I think I think I actually found it on there and yeah, it's a Thief 2 Gold mod, so you can see some of the missions that they were planning on doing. There's a couple that are like pseudo playable, the rest are just like you can explore the, the 3D environment and there's still a lot of placeholder textures, but it's kind of cool and I really wish that, it, that Looking Glass Studios would have survived so they could have at least released Thief 2 Gold. We could have seen that what they were going to do with that game, especially since I'm liking a lot of the additions to Thief the dark project in the gold version so anyways let's uh watch the cutscene that leads and the briefing for the next mission and then that'll be i think that'll be the end of this uh this episode <laughs> having pledged our honor as shield over air we must be mindful Let it be locked away and safe, but ever in view of the faithful. Future generations are hostage to our calendar. Hammerite Sermon of the Talisman. Getting the Talisman of Air will be an interesting challenge, but I'll need it if I want to get the eye for Constantine. It's well hidden inside the city's Hammer Temple, so I'll have to do some scouting around. Problem is, the place is fully active day and night. Not even I can stay undetected for very long. Well, they say that the best place to hide a letter is on the mantelpiece. With that in mind, I'll be going in by the front door dressed as a Hammerite novice. That should be perfect since novices aren't allowed to speak while on the temple grounds. My contacts can get me a novice's pass to get me through the gate. Once inside, I'll be free to take my time, explore the place thoroughly, and find the talisman. As long as I don't do anything violent or get caught somewhere I shouldn't be. Because as the new arrival, I'll be the first person they'll suspect if anything goes wrong. Yeah, a lot of people don't like this mission because it has a social stealth mechanic rather than just normal sneaking and thieving. Um, I, I played it a couple of times back in the day. <sighs> it's getting late, excuse me. Yeah, I played it a couple of times back in the day. Uh, I personally don't remember having any issue with it, but also I don't. I remember the first maybe 40% of it vividly, and then the rest of it I don't remember at all. So um, either it gets pretty easy after that, or uh, I repressed it. I don't know. So maybe it is bad. I have no idea. But um, uh, personally, I, had, I don't know that much of an issue of it with it. And uh, again, it, it expounds upon or it expands upon the lore of the Hammerites quite a bit more because you get to like actually go into their cathedral and talk to them and uh, read sermons and, and books and notes and explore their quarters and all sorts of stuff like that which up until this point in the game the Hammerites have been mentioned uh, and we've gone to the Hammer Cathedral but they've just kind of been meh like just off to the sidelines but they're, they're sort of important to the rest of the plot of the game so it's good that they're they give a lot of time to sort of fleshing out the Hammerites and who they are and what they're about in this 
level. So I think it's a good level, and some people bitch about it. I think it's fine, uh, but we'll see. Uh, my opinion may change when we when we start it. So on difficulty expert, uh, what are our objectives? We're going to have to be posing as a Hammerite novice, present your credentials to the guard at the gate, and enter the Hammerite temple. Search the temple and discover where the talisman of air is kept. When you find it, take it. Oh, and while you're looting the place, steal the hammer's holy. Yeah, hammer's holy first hammer from their reliquary. In addition to stealing the talismans, steal 2,400 worth of valuables while you're in the temple. Don't kill any of the Hammerites while you're on the job. Once you've achieved other, your other objectives, get out of the temple and back to the city streets. Okay, so pretty bog standard. The only thing that they've added, I think, is just stealing the first hammer and a 2,400 loot objective. And no killing. But I don't think you can kill on normal, either. Um, what was I going to say? totally forgot. Uh, so yeah, this is all the stuff we have to do. Oh, and uh, that's what I was going to say. So in case any of you are wondering what the difference is between the Dark Project and this, well, first of all, uh, if, you, if you guys have been watching the Let's Play, that, that mission, I think it was the fourth mission, the Downwind Thieves Guild, the one where you're in the sewers for hours and it's just this big labyrinthine maze and it's really, really tough to navigate. Uh, that's, that's a new addition. Um, they added that Little World, Big World addition onto Constantine's mansion in uh, the the level of the sword. There's minor tweaks here and there. Apparently, there was a retexture done on down in the Bone Horde, which I did actually notice, but not at first. It wasn't until I read up. I was just like, yeah, the lighting just feels a little off. It doesn't look how I remember it down there. So they retextured down in the Bone Horde, which is the third mission. So actually, Thieves Guild would have been fifth, I think, fifth mission. Um, and then here's, so you know the point in the story where you go to the Haunted Cathedral and then it says like, oh, you have to get the four talismans representing each of the four elements to open up the seal, to open up the cathedral, to get the eye. Well, this was the original intention, that they would have four different heist missions planned around each of the talismans. But either they ran out of time or someone on staff said like, hey, it's, the game's starting to drag, it's starting to be too long, why don't we just do just two missions in between so that's what they did so originally in the dark project you pick up uh the talisman of water and the talisman of fire um in the lost city and they're on opposite sides of the city kind of surrounded by their respected ele respective elements like there's more water near the water talisman than obviously there's the fire elementals near the fire talisman and stuff like that um so that's what's going on there and then uh the next level after that immediately there's no mage towers there's no uh song of the caverns you go immediately to this one undercover where you have to steal the air and earth talisman from the vault um i think it's a little less interesting in the dark project because it like it's clear if there's four talismans you have to get you would expect to have to do four levels to find all the stuff so it makes a little more sense in thief gold um but if you're used to the first game, the pacing for this game can... I mean, honestly, I would be close to... Yeah, like, I would be probably almost done with the game at this point had I been playing level by level the first game. Because we've played, let's see, uh, Constantine's Manor was almost double the length, and then there was Downwind, Downwind Thieves Guild, uh, Mage Tower, Song of the Caverns, wasn't there one more I just said that they added? No, I think that was it. Yeah, because they, well, they changed some stuff in the Lost City. So basically, four extra missions. Um, and after, so all we have left is Undercover, The Cathedral, Escape... Strange Bedfellow. Yeah, so we, we're, we're almost four missions from the end now. So we'd basically be on the last mission of the game already. Which, honestly, as someone who's been playing it, kind of feels like the game, at least lengthwise, should be getting ready to wrap up. But we've still got quite a ways to go. So, yeah, there, there's something to be said about the pacing of the game at that point. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm just going to load it and make our uh, obligatory initial save. Um, just in case we need to adjust difficulty or anything like that, um, if if things kind of blow up in our face, so we're gonna go ahead and continue. Oh yeah, we gotta buy our stuff too. So always, which I don't know. Ah, you, you know what? I have twenty 
2,000 gold, and it doesn't, you can't take it with you, as I've said before. Um, so we're gonna do that. Moss arrows are always good. I don't have any rope arrows. They don't have any for sale, so I guess I'm not gonna be using those. So moss arrows, I will go ahead and grab five. I'll grab another gas arrow. Uh, I can't kill anybody, so the gas mine would be okay, but I'd rather just rely on the gas arrows. Healing potion, I shouldn't need any, to be honest. Um, I still have 120 for this, so I'll just get three more of these, and I think maybe a noisemaker? I don't know, one noisemaker. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so I do remember the level beginning here. Alright, so we're going to make our obligatory beginning of the level save. Um, and once again, thank you for joining me for the Let's Play Thief Gold uh, series. I really uh, appreciate, you, appreciate you guys checking out these videos. Um, and I hope you guys look forward to the next episode where we'll be playing Undercover, as I already uh, elaborated on. So that's all from me. Uh, take care, and I'll see you guys on the next Let's Play.